What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving my personal opinions of why I love this set and why this is the best set ever. Which, funny enough, I was going to do this video anyway today, um, but two people both said that I hate this set. Which is pretty funny because I made a live stream that says I love this set, and then I also made a video saying that I love this set, and I also made the end of the video say that I love this set. So I don't know where they're getting that opinion from, but yeah, we'll mention them at the very end. Congratulations, you both got a shout out. Um, anyway, of course, this set is one of the best Marvel sets ever, and you guys all know that. You know that. You know that I love this set. This is one of the best sets ever. Why? Well, it just is. There are some flaws. There's always a Lego set that has flaws. So if they were complaining about that, there's always a Lego set that has flaws. It won't be the perfect set ever. It's close, but this is like really close to it, like probably a 9 out of 10. There's only some problems with it because you, if you get the set, you understand the problems. Um, but the reason why I love this set is because of the figures. The figures are amazing. You get, Punish you get Punisher, Daredevil, and a whole bunch of other characters. I've already upgraded all of them, but you get Spider-Man. You get all the characters that you get from this year, which is really cool. And I love that. I love that you get all the uh, figures from this year. I love that you get all the figures in one set. Because if you don't want to spend money to get all the other sets and you just want to get one set, um, you will miss out on some stuff, but it's it's cool. It's, it's not cool that you miss out on some stuff, but it is nice that, of course, you get all the figures in this set, which is awesome. You get Firestar. You get Punisher. You get all the characters that you ever want. Like, if you dreamed about getting a Firestar custom, then there you go. Like, here you go. This is the set that you get, and this set is amazing. I would put her on top, but I want to keep her in the camera. But yeah, this set is amazing. I love this set because of the building techniques that they use in this set. Yes, there are some flaws of saying that if you touch the window sometimes, and you're fiddling around with it, it will break. Because there is kind of loose building. If you wanted... I could remove the window and repair it. I could do that if I want to, but I don't want to because this looks awesome. This looks like the building has just been destroyed. There's some fire lying around. That's cool. I love that about the set. I love the figures. I love the detail where you can actually remove the windows. You can remove the windows, put them aside, and actually play inside the set if you want to. I love how you can display this set and make it look really cool. I love how you can drive the spider buggy on the side of the whole lego set like look at this you can drive it up the side of the building i love the intricate building of the letters i love the the fire escape because it's really cool because you build on every floor it does get annoying but it's really cool at the very end i love the building technique of using this and having this it's really cool i love that too i love this whole set this is my favorite marvel set that has ever come out the bridge battle right next to it. But yes, there are some flaws. There will always be some flaws with the Lego set. This is 9 out of 10 for me. Because yes, the broken window, if you touch it, it's fragile. A whole bunch of people agree with that. Yes, you do get repeats. A whole bunch of people agree with that too. Yes, you get some boring figures like Aunt May um, and some other characters. But those are cool. Like, J. Jonah is a really cool character. You get... Uh, Rob Barney, you get a whole, uh, whole bunch of characters. I think that's what his name is, sorry. Um, but you get a whole bunch of characters in this set that is just amazing and cool that I love to death because this is just an awesome set. The reason why it's such an awesome set is because the building, and yes, it is expensive, and yes. And yes, he did call me a spoiled brat, which, damn, that was hardcore. I do have to give it to you. That was hardcore. One of the guys said... I think it's Mr. Chang said that, uh, rich kid, you can afford, you can afford this set. Many people can't, and you give this cri critical review on it. They tried their best. Spoiled brat, I bet you can't build a better one. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't build a better one. Yes, I guess I am a spoiled brat. I guess I am. See, you win. 
Because yes, I do have, I have this set and some people don't. Which I'm sorry that you guys don't have this set because I want everyone to experience this set. You see, this set, I don't hate. In the video, if you watch the whole video, the whole video, not just two seconds of it, you can say that I love this set. And he commented on the LEGO Daily Bugle set review, which I love this set. This is such an awesome set, and I love it. I mean, yes, there are some flaws. Yes, there are, but there always will be. This won't be the perfect LEGO set ever. There will always be some people that have their own opinion and have their own opinion on the set that, hey, maybe I don't like that Spider-Man's in this set. I do love getting this Spider-Man again, uh, but maybe I do like getting Spider-Gwen again because this hood piece is cool. Maybe I like getting Miles Morales again. You see, yes, you do get repeats. You do get repeats in this set, and that kind of is a bummer. But it is also cool because if it's a cool repeat, not like that Spider-Man from 2012 that we kept getting every day, I love that. Like getting the Doc Ock again, I love doing that. When you get a really cool Doc Ock again, that is really cool. With like the PS4 version, like that is awesome that you get all these figures in the set. I love this set because it's just an awesome set. The, the detailing is on point. You have the checker detail right here. That is cool. You get the Sandman build. Yes, sometimes it does break, but it's a Lego set. And yes, Legos do break. I'm sorry that he took that in a wrong opinion that I hate this set, but I don't. Even one of the people in my live stream said I hate this set. I think he's trolling, but I think that if he's not, he said, Tish, this guy hates this set, which is Lego Review Stop Motion and Vlogs, which I did point out in multiple um, things, which I freaked the hell out as soon as I built this set and it was finished. I did get angry when the window kept breaking because imagine if you drop or you break something. You'll always get angry because of course you spent your hardest working on that set and then the part breaks and then you kind of get angry. Not the whole set, but that part breaks and you have to go back in the instructions and rebuild it. I did get angry on that because it started going over and over. I didn't understand what the heck the building asked me to do, what the instructions asked me to do, and I kept failing over and over again. I tried my best and did it because, of course, that's... I wanted to display the set. Now, yes, the figures in the set are good, but some of them, like Punisher, the face kind of does look a bit goofy. But it's a Lego set, and I should have said that. Sometimes, yes, it is a bit goofy. I did make how to build... I am making a build a better uh, Punisher, which is, like, the best Punisher ever that you guys will ever see. Better than many superheroes today. Yes, I do love this set. I love this set to death. And I can't say that enough. And if you guys want to see the people who commented that, here you go. Yes, I love this set. The reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because there are flaws with it. And that's okay. Like, some of the figures, like, some of the figures are okay. Like, Daredevil doesn't have any leg printing. That's okay. Blade doesn't have any hair or leg printing, that's okay, because I made a build a better version, as you guys should go check out those videos. I love this set, okay? I dreamed about it, I love this set, because as soon as I saw it, I basically cried, because it was such a good set, and I love it, because all the figures just combine so good in the set that I can't say it enough. Like, J. Jonah, look at him. Like, he is J. Jonah, and you can actually Recreate the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. And the broken window too. Like, I don't hate this set. I definitely don't hate this set. And if they were trolling, good job. But if they weren't, well, here's the video for you.